Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use OnePage CRM. OnePage CRM is a really easy to use CRM system that you can use for your business or for your personal use. Now what you want to do is just simply click here, try for free. Now I'm going to continue with the Gmail or you can sign with the email. I'm going to simply sign with the email but you can also choose the Gmail. Like this, now I'm going to add a password, organization, and industry. Then I'm going to simply click get started. Now uh, you're going to fill it out. So what are you currently using? Let's say another CRM, CRM software. What is your role? I'm CEO. What do you want to solve? Let's say everything. And I'm going to show you how we can actually use it. How many people work at your company? Just me. And finally, how did you discover? Let's say search engine. And now let's go. So get start. And here are we and what we can actually do. What you can do is go to bottom right and you see right here the getting started. So I can go without it, but if you want, you can go also this way too. So as we can see, the first thing we are going to do is add a contact. So I'm going to click here on the contact. And here I'm going on the top left and click here, add a contact. Here, my recommendation is simply add a contact. So I would add a Marcus client, job title, CEO, organization. Let's go with Marcus organization and then you would you would do uh, you would add also the phone the email the URL the address the status if it's a lead if it's a prospect if it's a client if it's an active general partner let's say this is going to be lead and then you can simply add a new tags to your lead lead source from where did you get the lead the background uh, the owner and birthday. Now, when you're going to have it, what you have to do is just simply click next to the cancel save. Error when you're not going to click save, you're going to have organization info of the organization that we created and added to our contact. And I would click save now. And voila, here we have it. So in the moment when we create a contact, we are directly in the contact and you can see that getting started, it's getting fully <laughs> full out more. So next action, uh, let's say call Marcus. See, then you can add a note, you can add a call or you can simply add a deal directly to your client. So I have a deal here, so I'm going to click add a deal. And uh, we will go also with the pipeline email and everything right here on top. So deal name, let's say it's going to be Marcus deal amount let's say like this you can add a note and then uh, what you can do is to simply click save and then you can simply choose if it's going to be a meeting range decision made or if it's a one lost or you can go also here on right click edit and you can edit that you can add a background about the client and that's pretty much it how we do it so this is how you can simply manage it you can also add a picture for your client now when you have it what you can do next is simply click email on the top and you would find all the new emails you can simply write a new email you can connect your email client to get most out of one page crm so that's something you can do then next to the email you're gonna have pipeline and here are the pipelines, all the deals that you can find. So in the pipeline, um, you can simply again add a deal. And this is literally the same thing that we did with our client. So deal name, let's say this is going to be YouTube channel. Search contacts. I can simply click plus here. Marcus client. I can add it like here. Or you can add a new client that's completely up to you. So you can search or add a new contact amount, let's say it's going to be 500 euro. 
and I can let's say this is going to be already at 40% the decision made and then I can click this click save now when I will click on the pipeline I can find it right here and what you can do you can simply move between the Kanban pipeline here and then I can simply move it and then bon, on a on a right side so this is how we do it it's pretty simple it's nothing really that difficult and that's pretty much it now when I go further I can go to top and see activity and in activities I can see all things that were happening so this is like the uh, like the timeline of stuff that I did or your team did so that's pretty much it how we can work with it you would find again your clients here email and that's it right when use my recommendation you can go again to pipeline and you can go on uh, change the team members here the filters pipeline values or you can simply go to configure on the top right and you can change the con the pipeline so you can configure it uh, as much as you want so let's say you would have uh, the meeting arranged or you would go for a decision made or proposal sent would be opened right so you can choose and move between all these and configure it as you go to what suits you better so this is pretty much it uh, how it works now guys if you can have any questions about a one page crm and what are you curious about on one page crm ask me down in the comments i'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance so yeah thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye See ya.